once I get to fight, then I'll have more to say. We're gonna bang, don't get it wrong, but you're out of your league on this one, buddy. 20 seconds left in round two. Can Johnson survive? No, he cannot! I mean, when we were talking about Justin Gaethje, we were talking about probably the most exciting lightweight fighter in the world, if not the most exciting fighter ever. When he started in the UFC, the level of competition he faced was nothing but elite. I mean, he fought Michael Johnson, Eddie Alvarez. Oh! Dustin Poirier. Gaethje nearly out on his feet. Oh. Poirier continues to land. Dustin oh. Poirier goes oh. knockout. Oh my gosh. It's fresh right now, but what do you think you do next? I mean, coming off two losses, that's hard to say, but you want to see me fight. Thank you, man. It's your last main event. You're about to be on three fight losing streak. Not one of my fights. You, you lost two out of three. You fucking suck. Oh. Big right from Gaethje and down Whoa. goes Vic. Justin Gaethje is back. I take everything personal. I took everything he said personal, and I'm glad I put him to sleep. Edson Barbosa. Oh, God, with a roll oh, right. It's over. Okay. That is it. No, oh. it's Edson Barbosa. Oh. Cowboy Cerrone. Oh, right from KG. There's got to be somebody out there that you'd like next. I don't care who I fight. I'll take Tony Ferguson next. That's for damn sure. I'll, I'll love to fight him. We finally have the news. The headline, the official fight. To main event, UFC 249 is going to be Tony Ferguson versus Justin Gaethje for the interim lightweight championship. That's it! Oh, man. Justin Gaethje wow. stopped Tony up, Ferguson wow. in round five! He's the that UFC is interim the lightweight up, champion! And new interim UFC lightweight champion, Justin the You know, I'm happy to represent the United States of America against Dagestan, Russia's best. Habib Nurmagomedov is going to be playing Justin Gaethje on October 24th. Hey, trying to choke by Nurmagomedov. Habib Nurmagomedov! The eagle rises again! He chokes Justin Gaethje to sleep. And still! It's finally official. Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler is happening for UFC 268. I cannot believe we got to the final decision. Wow, what a fight. Justin Gaethje and Michael Chandler now connected forever. Justin, congratulations. We, we knew it was going to be a war. The winner of December, I will be stepping in there, and I will be pushing you everywhere and anywhere. Hopefully it's Oliveira and Brazil. I don't give a f Charles Dubronx Oliveira has come a long way. He's had his ups and downs, but he proved that if you keep believing in yourself, everything is possible. And I don't have an overarching point. I have an observation. Because when I see Charles Oliveira, I see something special. I see a very special talent. Wins over Clay Guida. This is terrible. That's the talent. Charles Oliveira by submission. Jim Miller. There's the talent. Nick Lentz. Oh! Big right from Oliveira. Hammer fist. Nick Lentz is down. Charles Duprox Oliveira. Kevin Lee. Time. Oh, gonna watch that neck. This Kevin Lee. He's gonna Oliveira oh, forces the tap. Charles Oliveira. Tony Ferguson. But I think he just keeps getting better. I think that's what we're seeing. <laughs> he, he just is. keeps getting better. He is. He is. I mean, this is crazy. What you just did to Tony Ferguson was truly amazing. Who's next? Habib Nurmagomedov has just officially retired completely. The fight is going to be between Charles Oliveira and Michael Chandler. My humility is always the same. It's my moment, it's my time. It's coming, it's close. There's no way to deny it. I'm one of the best in the world. I'm ready. The belt's going to be mine. Oh! Knockdown for Oliveira now! Charles Oliveira! Oh! It's the oh! undisputed oh! UFC lightweight oh! champion! Charles Oliveira versus Dustin Poirier is targeted for December 11th. Charles Oliveira, down and out, folks. Down and out. Charles Oliveira maintains the throne. He gets the signal.
signature win over Dustin Poirier. And still! He's the best. I know you don't normally like to say, you know, who's the number one contender, but you said coming in like, hey, Justin Gaethje's definitely next. So as we sit here, Justin Gaethje definitely next. Yeah, it makes sense. I know you don't normally like to say, you know, who's the number one contender, but you said coming in like, hey, Justin Gaethje's definitely next. So as we sit here, Justin Gaethje definitely next. Yeah, it makes sense. Justin Gaethje is arguably the hardest hitting 155 pounder to ever have set foot inside the octagon. Oliveira has the tools to beat Gaethje with his crisp striking, his jiu-jitsu, his durability and his experience have all accumulated and turned him into the lightweight champion of the world. Everything he does is perfect. His jiu-jitsu is perfect, his striking is perfect. And that's the difference between Oliveira and these guys. It's like they're all really good standing up. He's really good standing up. So there's kind of like an even playing field. But when that motherfucker gets a hold of you, you're in deep danger. Yeah. Terrifying danger where you can't make any mistakes. It's Oliveira is something special. You know, Justin Gaethje prides himself on being the most entertaining fighter in mixed martial arts. I do believe he would have always gone down as certainly the most entertaining man in MMA, but as one of the elite lightweights of his era. But now there's no doubt. Is he telling the truth? That's what's more compelling to me because if anybody has learned how to play the media and get a headline during the last year, it is Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje is a monster. He's a terrifying individual. He is, I mean, in a sport that's violent, it's an in inherently violent sport, he stands out as the most violent. The fight that we knew that was going to get announced has finally been announced. Charles Oliveira is going to be fighting Justin Gaethje on May 7th for UFC 274. This is potentially the most lethal fight in the lightweight division. We have one of the scariest strikers versus the scariest submission artist. And there was a lot of talk before this fight, man, especially from Justin Gaethje. Now you slap on an undisputed lightweight title, and there's so many good storylines going into it. And it looks like it's about to go down in the lightweight division. Charles Oliveira will defend his title for the the second time against the highlight Justin Gaethje. I really like this one. I remember being announced and yeah. thinking, oh, fight. He's just gonna break you freaking down. He was always known just for being tough. He's gotten wiser. He's gotten smarter. He's gotten to that place in life more desperate. Whatever, more urgent. Whatever you want to call it. But he got there. You don't want Charles trying to make you take you to the ground. Justin has to make sure he stops that. I want to see Gaethje utilizing his wrestling as much as possible. Justin Gaethje is the man who presents the most dangerous challenge to his title reign. We are also going to find out who will break the other guy down over the course of five rounds. My first instinct is to create a car crash and be the object with the most force. Eu sou campeão. Eu provei mais uma vez sou campeão. And I don't, I don't care. I come here and I do it. I'm the champion. I have this belt. I'm going to keep defending it. I don't care what people say. I'm going to do me. Vem, mas vem você vem sem entender nada, porque nós está pronto. Charles is coming. Come prepared because I'm coming. I was born and I was bred and I was raised to do this. Go so, yeah, with him. Ladies and gentlemen, the human highlight, Justin Gaethje! I just love it way too much. And I will do it till the wheel fall. There's only one Justin Gaethje. Charles Oliveira, ladies and gentlemen! In this final, in this final, 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 final. I'm a world champion. I'm the man. They talk, I do it. Oh, I love these kind of fights. When you have two of the baddest dudes in the world in their prime, they sing off for the world title, nothing gets better than this. I would love to fight Charles Oliveira, but I will show you what I'm saying to the queer. I'm so proud to represent the United States of America against Brazil's top martial artist. It is a long time coming for all the marbles. It's finally here. If Oliveri can win against Gaethje, I am not sure who else in this division can beat him. Only one way to find out. Now, now we know. Stylistically, this fight is unbelievable.